What's up world? I got a special message that I want to share with you and I think this can help answer a very popular question because I think every successful person stands on a carefully structured process. Um, and they basically use that structured process to carry them to the next level that they want to reach. And so my goal is to help you, not only help you create your own structured process so that you could see what the next level of your success will be like, what the next level of your life will be like, but ensure that you stay consistent so that you can continue climbing that level. And so the reason for this post, I wanna be able to answer a very common question that I know a lot of us ask ourselves and it's, when should I uh, give myself cheat days, right? Whether you're on a schedule for fitness or you're just on your basic general schedule to achieve. And I wanna give you two examples. So the very first example, typically what happens with salespeople is they'll allow themselves a cheat day, basically kind of coast and not go as hard. They'll allow themselves that cheat day on typically a Friday. So amongst most salespeople, we have somehow convinced ourselves that Friday is a kickback day. Like, you know, we shouldn't go as hard because maybe we went hard Monday through Thursday, or maybe we have intentions of coming in during the weekend. Now on the flip side, let's say you weren't in sales and you're doing this for a diet. A lot of us will give ourselves cheat days, again, typically on the weekends, Friday, maybe Saturday, Sunday. And when you're coming, to, coming up with this regimen or this structure, one of the hardest questions to ask yourself is, where should I allow myself some cheat days? And here's the answer. The answer is you should only allow yourself cheat days if you've earned it. Same thing applies to business. You should only allow yourself to coast or go easy after you've earned it. Now, how do you know if you've earned it? You know if you've earned it because you've given yourself the regimen or at least the schedule to hold yourself accountable to and you've stuck, you've stayed disciplined to stay on that regimen. And so if you stayed disciplined enough for let's say Monday through Thursday in this example, then I believe you are allowed to consider a cheat day. Now I wanna underline consider because I think that just because you hustle hard or you created this regimen that you think you're entitled to a cheat day or you, you think you're entitled to a slow day. And I personally do not believe, and if you agree with me, then put this in force today. I believe you're not allowed a cheat day or a slow day unless you've genuinely earned it. And even when you feel that you've earned it, it's only something to consider, not something that you need to do. You see, I'm very well aware that there's all kinds of different pieces of advice being given out in damn near every channel. But based on my experiences, every channel is being influenced by people who are not on the same level as you. And so their recommendation may apply to them now, but it may not necessarily apply to you right now. And what happens is, is when we follow that regimen, we don't get the similar results, we'll tend to grow resentment. Either one or two things will happen. Either one, we'll look at that as bad advice and discredit the advice, even though it may be very useful. Or number two, you may very well look inward and create resentment about yourself thinking that you did it. And it really wasn't, it was just, it was just kind of how you coordinated those events. And so why I think this is important is because one of the most common questions I get asked is, hey D, how do I make the most money possible as a loan officer or as a salesman? And I got a piece of content that I'm dropping this week. If you're not on my YouTube or my Facebook page, you need to add at sales remastered on your YouTube or your Facebook page. Because I believe you're just one video away, one piece of content away from unlocking what it is that you genuinely want. Whether it's more income, more freedom, more happiness, everyone's different. A hundred grand to you is not gonna be the same as a hundred grand to me. A hundred grand to, let's say 300 grand to me is not gonna be the same as 300 grand to you. Does that make sense? So everybody has their own kind of different levels and I want to let you know that in order to reach whatever level it is that you're trying to reach it's important that you identify the track that you will follow to reach that set level and so I hope that this question or this answer this solution 
helps you. And if you're already going into the fourth week of 2019, kind of falling behind your, your set goal, kind of like falling behind on your regimen, your diet, your production you know, goal, I want you to know that it's not the end of the 2019, it's not the end of your career, it's not the end of the month. What you decide to do at that point, and we all find ourselves at that point, the decision that you take to handle yourself on those times will actually determine the likelihood of you succeeding in the future. So where a majority of people will kind of coast and take it as like, ah, fuck it, I didn't hit it this month, I'll just try next month. That's a whole nother crowd. That's the mediocre, that's the average, that's the general population. But how you know you got something special is if you take it as a challenge. So for example, we got five days left for the rest of this year, right? Or this month, I mean. And let's say you go in tomorrow and you're like, okay, I got four days. If you break down your goal into a four day sequence, right? So how many do I have to hit each day in order to hit the remainder of my goal? Or what do I gotta do for the remaining four days to, to come close if not hit my goal? And you hold yourself accountable to that structure. If it was a diet, maybe you go, and like you're used to going 30, 45 minutes, maybe you go an hour and a half for the last four days, right? You know, don't overexert yourself, keep your health you know, front of mind. But if it's business, and you're about five sales short, well, how do you break that up amongst the last four days? Well, how you would do it is like, okay, I gotta do whatever I gotta do to make at least one to two sales per day. Does that make sense? And the odd thing is, is that when you try and find a solution, because you have such crunch time, you become very efficient. You start to really weed out the activities that you shouldn't be doing. And if you carry that process and that mindset into February, you're gonna be that much more advanced, but you would not know what efficient steps to take, what efficient actions to do, if you didn't first hold yourself accountable. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like a little bonus for you. But again, if you guys don't have at sales remastered or uh, on your YouTube or your Facebook, obviously you should have it on your Instagram. But if you don't have my channel, Sales Remastered, on your YouTube or your Facebook page, go there after this live stream, add me onto your Facebook and your YouTube. I'm dropping content damn near every day. I got one piece of content coming out this week specifically on how to make more money as a salesman, how to make more money as a loan officer, and how to understand selling and use selling for what it is, and it is a tool, it's like a bridge, it's like a staircase, it's a, it's a device, it's a vehicle to get you to where you wanna go. And the best thing about it is you don't need a degree to be good in sales. You don't need to be the smartest person in the room to be good in sales. You just need to know how to think outside the box, you need to be creative, and you need to have that enthusiasm and that desire. And so I can give you all the ingredients on my channel, Sales Remastered on YouTube or Facebook, but you gotta take the first step and add me to your stream. You see, right now you're at a fork in the road, you're at a crossroad where you have a choice to add me to your stream, you have a choice to just go on to the next live stream. Those of you who add me on your stream, I promise you I'm going to give you some helpful content that's gonna take you to the fucking next level. And you don't gotta worry about no, what your manager says, you don't gotta worry about like, oh, I don't have the resources around me to teach me how to make over six figures a year, boo boo. I will give you all those resources and then some, but you gotta take that first step. You gotta add Sales Remastered to your Facebook or your YouTube page and be sure you catch the content that's happening this week. The name of the video will be how to make more money in sales in 2019. And when you see that video, I want you to pay attention to that video because sales is a beautiful thing when you understand the science of it. You understand how to make it a tool to take you to where you wanna go. So if you wanna make five grand a month, you wanna make 10 grand a month, you wanna make 15, 20 grand a month, I'm gonna outline the exact step and process on how to do just that. And I'm giving it from a different point of view. I'm not giving it as some influencer who read about this in a book or giving you some kind of you know, thesis or theory because I studied you know, people from afar. I'm giving it to you from live experience. I do this shit today. I'm in the, gr in the grind today. Like tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna be hustling to get mine. And the question is, will you be hustling to get yours? Do you even want to go get yours? See, we all got a choice. We can make excuses or make moves. And those of you who are gonna make moves are gonna take the first step and add Sales Remastered on your YouTube and your Facebook page. I promise you, one of the best things that you can do for yourself 
is follow someone or learn from someone who's already achieving what it is you want. Study their moves, study their actions, and study their mindset. Then mirror it and model it, and then make it your own. Because their process is already a set proven plan, and all you have to do is mimic it. And I'm giving you that set proven plan at Sales Remastered on YouTube and Facebook. So do yourself a favor. If you're in sales right now, go download a copy of the script. There's a link inside the, my profile to salesremaster.com. You can request a copy of my script. On the script has links to all my channels. So if you're on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever you are, I'm there too. Add me to your stream and let's build together. Shout out to everybody who's on this stream. Heather Graham, I appreciate you. Thank you, lady, for following the content. I'm off for the next two days, but I'm short on my warranty sales, so thanks for this. Of course, Justin, just keep it moving, man. And remember, you know, if you didn't catch a, the first part of this, this stream, go check out the original first part because you might be off two days, but the question is, what can you do within those two days to ensure that you never miss or come far behind your warranty sales again? So the choice that you take within the next two days, whether it's to study your craft or to offer uh, or volunteer to come in those two days to make up the difference, not only builds the right mindset, but it gives you greater momentum into going into February to ensure that you don't miss that shit ever again. See what I'm saying? There you go, bro. I'm going in today. And Justin, one piece of advice, when you're going out there and you go into the sales field, just remember, man, the key thing, and to anyone in sales watching this right now, the key thing is to give the impression of serving. You see, when we're, us as salesmen, we naturally kind of just want to sell. So we want to like tap dance. We want to kind of like peacock, right? And say, oh, well, we're number one and this is why. And man, I promise you, you're actually pushing more people away. But if you come at a place of, of good intent, positive intent, like I want to help you, I want to make sure you're not wasting your time. Oh, you know what? I got something really neat. Check this out and actually finding out what exactly that person wants in the warranty, in the car, in the vehicle, in the, in the big picture, and then use it like, utilizing your expertise and your insider information on how to drive them to exactly where they should go and what vehicle they should use and why it helps them with their specific needs and wants and desires, I promise you, you're gonna have laydowns. It's not even gonna be a challenge anymore. It's just gonna be fucking laydowns. And why you wanna present it as an idea is because no one wants to be sold but people love to hear about ideas. You get it? So I hope that really helps you. I hope that fucking helps you book a lot today, bro. And that way you're coming into the next day far ahead. But I appreciate everyone uh, for your attention on this live stream. Again, go to the link in my bio, add me on your Facebook and your YouTube stream today. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.